you guys about basics of bank fishing. Uh, bank fishing is, is easy. It's mostly what most people start off with. Some people may start off with fishing off the boat first thing. Uh, for me, bank fishing is where I started out on. Uh, and I f boat fish a lot too, same as bank fishing. Uh, two words you need to know if you're fishing. Soft plastics. Right here, these are my two Plano KVD soft plastic bags. Um, they hold about 10, 20 bags of soft plastics each. And I got one right here that I can get. Alright. And I've got one in one of my boxes. Uh, my little rubber make boxes. Uh, anyway, this one right here is filled with my starter ones. Uh, to know it's my starter one, on the back of it, uh, I got a sticker from Wired to Fish. They sent me a uh, letter in the mail, uh, thanking me for entering one of their contests. And they sent me two stickers of these. So I decided to put one on the my starter bag. And uh, so that way I know that it's that uh, my bag that I've got my, my Strike King, my Gary Yamamoto. And my power baits, uh, Bass Pro Shops tournament uh, lures, and starter zoom soft plastics. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk to you about bait fishing. Like I said, um, this is not gonna be a promo video, but I'm gonna tell you this: these bags right here, you need to check them out. They're like six dollars a piece, uh, six, seven, something like that, to buy one of these. Uh, Really good. I love them. It holds your soft plastics. That, so your soft plastic that you scattered everywhere. I love it because it's out of the pockets of your tackle bag. That way you don't need more pockets to store them in. Uh, anyway, I just love the bags. They're just seven dollars a piece. They're Plano. They're the KVD uh, uh, worm file bag. All right, right there. It's got the KVD symbol on it. Anyway. Uh, so, I'm going to talk to you about bank fishing. Where I fish at, Cordell Hole, as you all know it, uh, two lures that come to mind to me. Uh, lizards, these are the rage lizards, and craws, these are the rage craws. Uh, these are the two that come to mind in me. And one other thing that comes to mind in me is a Cinco. Everybody knows Gary Yamamoto, uh, Baits, everybody knows them for their Cinco's, Yama, the Yama Cinco's, some of the best Cinco's ever there are. So, I'm going to go in uh, depth on this stuff, and also, I'm going to talk about how you should store all your stuff. Uh, there's all kinds of ways for people to store their stuff. Some people like to buy these, like, uh, Bass Resource uh, Fluke Master on YouTube, uh, he, uh, he has a video on there on bank fishing, I'll put the link below if you want to watch that, uh, but his video on it, he's got a guy from Bass Resources, and, uh, he talks about how you should store, and he gets, like, a uh, little thin boxes, I mean, they're thinner than this right here, this little, this box. Uh, but anyway, they talk about how you store you like three of these, get you a backpack, uh, put some soft plastics in there, uh, get you some boxes for your hard baits and things like that. Anyway, that's like what you need uh, to store, do for bank fishing. Bank fishing, uh, I just take about three, four rods. It just depends on what I'm fishing. Uh, Sometimes I'm fishing spinnerbait, uh, spinnerbait. Sometimes I'm fishing a uh, crankbait. I'll fish crankbait off a bank. Some people don't like to do that. I will. Uh, 
or I'm flipping and pitching. Uh, flipping and pitching, that's where I catch most of my fish is flipping and pitching. One time I went bank fishing, and I caught three that day. I caught a sauger, uh, two largemouth. Bank fishing, just flipping and pitching all day. Uh, real good. Caught it right off the bank. Nobody else who was fishing with me caught one. Alright, so these are your two things that you're needing whenever you uh, fish. Uh, bank fishing is soft plastics. Uh, Senkos, one thing for wacky rigging. I go with the uh, Yam Yamasenkos in the watermelon, no flake. Uh, I think you can get them in the black flake. I think. I may be wrong. Get some Cinco's. There's a five inch Yama Cinco's. Wacky rig them. That's your best way to go. Uh, then open up strike key. And your razor scissors. Uh, right here. That's your razor scissors. It's weird. Know that. Freaking my mother's. Anyway, uh, lizards and cross. You're always gonna carry a Cinco with you. You never know. A bag of Cinco's, you always gonna carry them with you. Because you never know. And a crawl. Crawls are good everywhere. I mean, come on. You can't go without them anywhere. Just like Cinco's. They're just like Cinco's. You can't go anywhere without a Cinco. Wacky rigging. Cinco's are one of the best soft plastic lures there are. I hate to tell you that, but they are. Uh, Cinco's, wacky rigging them. When I'm bank fishing, mostly what I'll bring, I'll bring a spinning reel all the time, all day. I'll bring a spinning reel. Uh, about four reels. I'll bring about two spinning reels. Maybe five sometimes. And I'll bring like th uh, three bait casters. Or just two bait casters. It just depends. I might bring my cranking stick sometimes. Uh, but anyway, that's what I mostly carry. People think I'm carrying hard and everything. But sometimes the fish ain't, just ain't biting out there. Uh, one one day, the day after that, they went biting it all. I mean, they wouldn't even biting anything. I mean, I had a bite or two, but I couldn't catch them. Uh, and I wasn't carrying that much. And I kept on trying to find some stuff to use, but I never bit anything. So that's why you want to car carry enough stuff. And then if you figure it out the first day, bring the same stuff. But keep on packing hard. I always pack a bunch of stuff just in case. Uh, like right here, I've got this big old giant box. I mean, it's huge. Uh, I got two thirty six hundred boxes in here, line spoon box, spinner bait box, uh, sunglasses, towel, measure thing. I'm gonna take that with me because it's got some of my tools in there. And then I've got this big boy. I'm gonna hold up here. Right here, this big boy. I got this big boy. So I'm gonna say this. Pack hard and you won't be disappointed. That's all I can say. Alright. Pack pack a bunch and you won't be disappointed. I say pack hard a lot. But anyway, I always pack a bunch of soft plastics is what I'll do. I'll pack a lot of soft plastics. Uh when I do go bank fishing, uh I'll clear out a spot in my box, like my where my line spooling and everything is. I'll take that, I'll take my line spooling box out and I'll put my starting bag of uh, soft plastics right there, carry that around. That way I don't have three things and my rods to carry. So that's another thing you want to think about. If you're getting that, that's the one thing. It has tremendous storage. You can put a spinner bait box in there. Instead of buying another box that's a spinner bait box, and I bought a 3600 crate bait box, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Well, guess what? I found the spot in there. So that's what you want to do. Uh, I put my deep divers in there and my square bills in a box. But anyway, uh, bank fishing, I'm telling you, pack a lot of soft plastics. Uh, mistake I see a lot of people, they'll bring all this gear, I mean, that you take out of a boat, these deep diving crankbaits and everything, and they throw them out there, and they don't catch a thing for a day, and they pack a lot. I mean, that's all they bring is one rod, and that's it, and they have the thing tied on, and they don't catch anything all day. You're going to have to change your lures every once in a while, people. 
that's listening to me, you're going to have to change, all right? You ain't going to have to stay the same way. You're going to have to change your lure, all right? So that doesn't mean take one rod, keep it tight on there, don't bring any tackle, and just use that, and you're going to catch them. No, that don't have to work. You're going to miss some, and you're going to not even get some bites sometimes, all right? So you want to pack some, so that way, if they don't bite, like your Cinco, your Craw, and your Lizard, if you already tried them all day, then, then you got your panic box right there. Then you got your other lures in there. Then you got your deep dive and crank baits, which you probably won't need. Then you got your spinner baits and all that stuff. And there you go. That's why you pack hard. All right. That's another fishing 101. This is bank fishing, fishing 101. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you.